So Roblox Studio is enrolling a new user interface and a lot of people don't really like it, where although they've made many improvements, there are still some concerns and I hope to clear everything in this video for you guys. As well, I'll show you the different features and what changed. But yeah, as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and let's get into the video. Okay, and here we basically just have the new interface where some people might have it by default and some of you might need to enable this one by going to file them beta features and enabling the next gen studio preview. After you do so, you just want to save it and it's going to prompt you to restart studio. So you want to do that and you are going to have the new user interface. Not like anyone want to do that anyways, but yeah. Right off the bat, you can see a lot of the stuff changed from the first beta video that I made. Like for example, the new test window, like test, test here, run and server and client. Now you have everything under a dropdown menu, where server and client is going to also allow you to actually add how many clients you want. And you are going to have all of these buttons to pause the session, leave the session and close the session right here. You can also see another big feature, which is the plus button icon right here. And this one, I'm going to already clear some concerns and tell you that you can actually add custom tabs. Like if I wanted to add a tab, let's say home to, I'm going to have it right here. And if I, for example, didn't like this home tab, I can actually just right click on the tabs and press on the manage tabs button, where I can actually just hide the home tab and move my own to the top, where now you can see that the home tool is going to be right here. And some people may ask, why is this a big deal, right? Again, this is way different than the previous interface. Like you don't have the copy, cut, duplicate buttons on the left, the explorer properties, this was moved to the right. And most importantly, you don't have the import 3D button, which for many developers and UGC creators and builders is a big deal. Right now you'd have to go into file, then import 3D or just press on the control and M shortcut, where this is just a little bit more inconvenient than it was previously. But if I wanted to actually have the import 3D as an icon on the home tab, I can simply press on the home tab, press on duplicate, then rename, this one is going to be the home tool, and then I can right click and then add a tool and search for import 3D. And all of a sudden I'm going to have it right here. Where now I don't think that there is a proper way yet of rearranging these icons easily, I think you will just have to remove everything and place it back again, but I actually want to add a drop and drag functionality in the future, as they said in the deform post that I'm going to be reading later. But yeah, if I were to again just manage the tabs, remove the home, move the home right here, then actually just rename it to home, it's just going to be right here like this. And yeah, trust me, these custom tabs are actually really useful. Like you can add a bunch of tools, then add a divider, then again continue adding tools. And there is actually a lot of stuff that you can add. From the different plugins you have to for example, a button to switch between the server and the client, or even something for example really important like game settings, you can also add that too. Even functions like open auto saves, open from file and so on, where you can basically just make the functionality be the same as on the old user interface. And of course you can customize it to your liking, so you can even make something like a UGC tab where you can have all of your UGC stuff here. Like for example, all the scale, move, transform, the import 3D, like the UGC thumbnail tool or even the asset creator. And trust me, the custom tabs are like the biggest saver that there is for this update. But yeah, another concern that people had is that the design is too spacious. There is too much distance between all of these elements and the separators. But again, Roblox said on the dev forum that they are actually going to work on it and make it a little bit more compact, as well as add different layouts in the future too. But one of the suggestions that I have personally, if we have a lot of customization options for the tabs, right? We should have some customization options for these elements right here too. Like for example, I personally don't really like the flashing icons. I would personally prefer if everything was in a solid color, like for example right here. And this kind of style of these icons where they just feel really smooth, let's say, isn't for me either. This just doesn't look too professional, where I don't really feel like I'm working in a game engine, rather a sketchy web-based graphics software. But yeah, people may also ask when is this actually getting released for everyone, and Robert said that it's going to be around start of June. So by the time this video coming out, it's going to be around two weeks. And Robert has actually given us a spreadsheet or rather a documentation page on where all of this stuff has actually been moved from the old UI. But again, I'm going to give more information on that on the dev forum. And right now I also need to say something about the user experience where it of course has some bugs. 
Like for example you hovering over the icons and the text just staying there sometimes. It's actually working properly right now, but yeah. Roblox said that they are working on this too. And like there is also a feature of double pressing on the tab, like for example right here, where it's not working properly all the time, but it's actually just going to make it so the top bar is actually going to be hidden, just in case you didn't want to look at the new UI all the time. And yeah, this is fine, but like, why is this center part in particular really standing out from all of the different old UI stuff? Like it just feels like the explorer and the toolbox and everything around was like overlaid on top of the new interface but yeah that's it you can just double press on the tab and there is also some more stuff if you actually right click on the top part right here and one of them is show hide labels where right now it's just going to be completely confusing because it's going to be just an icon where if i go into the model tab brother i have no idea by default what any of these mean and even if i use it for like few months i will still probably have no idea at least if I hover over them, it's going to give me a description. And if it comes to labels, something that they shouldn't have removed in my opinion were these labels for the tabs. Like for example, for all of these elements right here, you had a tools label. And if you can actually just modify these tabs right here, maybe you could like right click on a segment and for example just add a label to it. It would be pretty nice. But yeah, there is also the dock and unlock ribbon, which basically just does the double click on a tab and that is about it. So yeah. And I personally need to say a few different points and this is going to be more subjective than objective where like I said, I don't really like all of these different icons, right? I don't like these colors. I don't know what the character icon is even supposed to be. The GUI doesn't really seem like a GUI and the only good one from right here I would say is the terrain. But like this is a problem that I had with the old UI too, except that one was only on like the part and the GUI. And why do we have all of this stuff in the home tab? Like where I can actually understand the part for, for example, building purposes. But like having the character, GUI and a script all in one place, it just doesn't feel right to me when one person can really work on one of these things at a time. Like it's going to be way better to add a script in the scripting tab from right here than just to have it occupy space in the home tab. The home tab should be again used for something really universal like the toolbox, import 3D, the rotate, move, select, so on. Not like, oh let me add a character, let me add a GUI, let me add a script and then I'm going to have to go into these different tabs anyway. Oh look, I can add a GUI here too, like that's kind of what I mean. And also I don't really feel like people are going to be using this because you can just simply add a script by just pressing on the plus button right here next to the instance. Oh yeah, really quickly I also forgot to mention that you have a tab location from right here that you can change from the center and left. But yeah, it's something that you can actually do. But I wonder why is it only like two different options instead of it also being like right side too. Okay, and lastly because I don't want this video to be too long. Like I personally think that the new interface is is fine. Again, the custom tabs are a savior and they are going to make it better in the future, or at least I hope. Now, again, like I said previously, there is some stuff that I actually need to talk about from the dev forum and all of the links from there are also going to be down in the description. But let's just actually go there right now. And here is the dev forum post about the next gen studio preparing for takeoff, where Paul, a Roblox staff, is saying that, hi creators, last summer we released the next gen studio beta preview and since that time we've been working non-stop for rolling updates to get everything ready for Prime time. We have continuously listened to your feedback and have done our best to incorporate your ideas and suggestions where we can. Right off the bat, I need to say that most of the complaints about this whole studio interface from back then and even right now were about either the design itself, where all of this felt too spacious, or some buttons missing which they actually fixed in this release, to an extent. So saying that we have continuously to listened to your feedback is kind of a big stretch right here. But anyway, the past few months have been mostly focused on ensuring functional parity with the old UI. Our goal was that any action or tool that Studio supports should be accessible through the new interface but there were two big missing pieces we have no address. And playtesting with controls, where they have actually put all of the playtesting buttons into one space, as you can see from this preview right here, they have fixed a lot of issues with the old UI, with properly enabling or disabling the button states, icons, etc. And from this preview you can actually see that, that you can actually select the amount of players separately from, well, the button. But anyway, we also wanted these new controls to be in a persistent, easily accessible place with the main window, and we decided to take the space that was formerly occupied by Quick Access, which brings us to the next step, which is the custom tabs and toolbars. Now, probably the most requested feature 
will actually the custom tabs and like I said previously the fact that you can hide the original ones and just have your own was a blessed decision made by Roblox. This removes all of the complaints that people had with you know only this or that being in this area of the interface where I basically just talked about in the previous segment so anyway. But yeah, these previews are just showing the custom tabs, the removal and hiding them and this paragraph right here says that they are setting the new interface as the default UI where you have the ability to access any tasks that the old UI can provide which is just yeah I'm sure and they are making an automatic transition well this week but it was actually I think cancelled but yeah if you were auto enrolled into the beta because of this and they basically just tell you that you can visit the original announcement for more details on the next gen studio architecture and moving to the whatever achieve next gen zen means our next goal is to leave beta in early June, where they are basically just going to fully replace the old UI with this one. And we have a short list of improvements and fixes to make, but we strongly recommend you leave this beta feature turned on and start adjusting your muscle memory to the new UI. So yeah, they are basically just saying that you should get used to it. <laughs> and you also have the studio interface documentation, which is a toolbar mapping guide, which is just showing all of the positions on the interface of every single one of these menu options like brother this just feels like that won't change from blender 2.9 to like 3.0 where you basically just had to have a spreadsheet to know what changed but like bro how much stuff is there video record removed switch window removed select under scripting is also removed because you can just use ctrl and a sure team test removed by default okay that's actually really good because for example i wasn't using team test at all so yeah controller emulator also removed by default so yeah some of these options they're basically going to have to look through all of this and do something like ctrl f and for example look for import 3d which is actually right here which is under the applications file menu and then import 3d so just file and import 3d where it was previously removed from the home or avatar tab but you can actually just add it to a custom tab so shouldn't this also be updated to tell you what you can actually add in the custom tabs too like that's the whole kind of complaint i have about all of this like the ui itself is fine but like the transition from the old one to the new one is horrendous with all of the stuff that roblox has kind of given us but yeah this is going to be down in the description and i'm going to go back to the default forum post right now and right here we have a few more tips don't forget about the menus removed a lot of the functionality from the old toolbar to the menus which i have already shown about and i was answering so many comments under the beta version of this feature because people just wouldn't know where stuff was then don't forget about shortcuts and customize your tabs this just kind of feels like roblox is telling us that we should manage everything ourselves because they just don't want to do anything like this is a very lazy response like you cannot just give this as one of the main features and then leave it under tips and tell people that hey go do it yourself <laughs> but yeah while we plan to improve space utilization very soon today you can make the most of your ui space by hiding tools i mean tool labels or even hiding the entire ribbon so yeah there is at least something more positive in this update and here they are basically just asking for feedback and there are the known issues and they'll be addressing all of the spacing concerns before they leave beta where it's going to be much more reduced and they are hoping to introduce even more compact options in the near future like if you are so keen on like adding a lot of customization to this for users why cannot we customize the spacing ourselves like that's another point that i've seen people make and they will be allowing the scrolling of toolbars and getting rid of the overflow and drop down menu and the colors and styling are mostly placeholders okay like in my opinion anything except like the anchor or lock that's a property shouldn't be placed on the ui by default i'm guessing that they are placeholders because roblox was like oh yeah maybe you don't have enough stuff to just place in this ui so we are just going to put random stuff there tooltips have a few display issues yeah no crap <laughs> this is a whole new tooltip system and we are still tweaking things here and then the menu organization is still a work in progress and they are still trying to finalize some stuff and they can't currently add complex controls like the drop down buttons and the snapping ui to custom tabs yet but as a workaround you can duplicate a system tab with those controls and modify the duplicate yeah with roblox is always kind of a workaround but yeah anyway they are arranging the tools on a tab requires a right click and they are hoping to add a drag and drop in the near future so again one of my complaints from the beginning and yeah that's going to be mostly it for the dev forum post if you want you can actually read all of the issues that people are actually having with this because it's going to be linked down in the description and yeah that's basically everything for the dev forum too so again leave a like and subscribe to support the channel also check out my patreon page thanks everyone for watching and see you guys